Right, so Chris Evans put out a call on the radio. He said that he was considering who his lineup would be and that one of the people in the lineup would be someone selected from the public. So he put that out to the world, basically. Anyone could apply. All you had to do was submit a 30 second audition tape and the powers that be would consider that and judge whether you were worthy of the place on Top Gear. Why were you so keen to work on Top Gear? Well, I'm a motoring journalist anyway, right? So my day job is filming Top Gear, but on a much smaller scale, on a lower budget on YouTube. So I jump in a car, I tell people whether those cars are worth buying or not. And it's, it's what I've done for the better part of 10 years. So I'm a great fit in that respect. But my talent is, I guess, just being able to communicate how cars make you feel and how much you'll enjoy or hate driving those cars in a particular environment. There's been so much expectation and talk around what's happening with Top Gear. Chris Evans uh, was talking about you know, what, what was and what is going to be. He said there was actually nothing wrong with the old show, nothing wrong with the presentation of it, just something went wrong with one of the presenters. It wasn't broken, so why would we change it that much? Other than the new line of, up of presenters, is it going to be pretty much as it was? Top Gear is Top Gear, so everything that people loved about the old show will still have. We'll still have the banter, we'll still have the beautiful cars. I think we'll actually step it up a notch in terms of the production values. It's going to be absolutely beautiful to watch. Um, what we've got now is a bigger lineup of people. I think in the past you could almost watch Top Gear and predict what each presenter might say about a particular car based on the caricature of those individuals. Right now, we've got a fresh new team. You don't know what we're gonna say about a car. It's all new, it's all fresh. Some big figures in the new team. You know, people who've been very successful in various fields. Are there a lot of egos? How are you all getting on? Not at all, no. I had, I had the same kind of concern as well, but I jumped in and I was kind of relieved to see that everybody is um, a team player. Everybody kind of gets on with each other, especially on the presenting team, because we all have this thing in common, which is cars. We all love the same thing. So when we talk to each other, we don't have to find a common ground because it's already there. We love the things that we do day to day, and that's driving around in, uh, in some amazing cars. We, we share that passion, so it's easy to get on.